We probably have 40 or 50 containers around our landscape. I love container color. Little leafed uh, croton here. It's a bright splash of color. I've only had that a couple of years. I'm enjoying it already. Behind it, a beautiful torch begonia that will sit here all this summer and probably for summers to come. This is about its third year here. It goes in the greenhouse in the winter. I'll show you some more of our container color, but there's a better place to go, and that would be to the Dallas Arboretum. Jill is going to show us how they do theirs. Hey, my name is Jill Misar. We're here at the Dallas Arboretum, and today we're going to kind of go over how to pot up your container plants and make them beautiful for your home. So we already started here with this great clay pot that we have. Um, and we first, we put in our spiller already with some sweet potato. Because the important thing is you want to have three elements to your container. There's the thriller, spiller, and filler. So this is our spiller. It's going to tumble over the edge and make a nice little cascading effect. So we have some sweet potato. And then next, we're adding a little bit of fillers with the zinnias. And then we also have some really great African marigolds that are going to bloom really well for you in the heat because they love the heat. So we'll add in some of the marigolds, kind of make it even on both sides because it's always a little more aesthetically pleasing when everything's even. Um, then our big kind of thriller is this huge plant. This is Tacoma Bells of Fire. This is one of the new plants on the market. Go and buy it. It loves heat, it loves summer, and it's gonna bloom like a champ for you, just like this. So we're gonna put it in the middle and kind of make it the focal point. So behind that, we're gonna add in cannas, which are this nice red leaf here, and it'll also get a great red flower for you. So you're kind of keeping this hot color theme. Um, we'll add in another canna, kind of make a nice balance here. Try to make everything all even. And another one of our filler plants will be copper leaf plant. This guy has this nice foliage, really is what you want is a good foliage color in your pot. Um, so it's got some reds and oranges and a little bit of deep color to kind of bring your whole pot together. And then we'll add some over here as well to kind of keep the whole thing together. And then just straighten everything up. So you're going to want to put in a good soil that um, drains really well because it's really important to not have water standing in the bottom of your pot. And these larger clay pots too, you're going to want to make sure there's a drain hole. So drill a hole in if need be. And sometimes it also helps to add a few rocks to the bottom just so you're not all the way down with soil. Well, thanks for joining us today at the Dallas Arboretum and good luck with planting. Great container information from Jill at the Dallas Arboretum. They do it beautifully, but you know, Looky here, this is my container color. You saw this several weeks ago in my greenhouse as we began digging Dallas Fort Worth. This is a croton I've had right in this same spot in my landscape now for 25 summers. We've repotted it a couple of times. It's in a faux terracotta pot that doesn't weigh much, but even with that, it takes two people to move it. Coming up in just a moment, we're gonna to go to the Fort Worth Botanic Garden and we're gonna be looking at perennials for your landscape and garden with Steve Huddleston. Stay tuned. It's tomato season and today we're gonna to be featuring fresh tomatoes. I'll be making an ensalada caprese and an heirloom and feta salad. When you're looking for a tomato, you wanna to make sure it's got a really nice firm texture to it, not too soft. You want it fairly heavy for its size. You want a nice bright color.